story about a shortage at school districts. Many need bus drivers, and the problem is so bad, at least one district called on firefighters to help drive sometime. Chris Arvaditz is in our newsroom with a closer look at how they get by and the reason they're facing this problem. Let's take Rush Henrietta, for instance. That district trying to fill 16 positions right now. It's a combination of driver retirements and the district going to full-day kindergarten next fall. Officials at seven other Monroe County school districts told me they are hiring two. These districts just scrambling to get kids to and from school. I'm fortunate I have some off-duty firefighters that work for me. Mm -hmm. They'll cover substitute runs when somebody calls in. The things Kathleen Callen has to do just to get East Arondacoit students to class in the morning. She's the director of transportation for the school district there. Callen calls the bus driver shortage a nationwide problem. She has about 75 on her staff now, but still needs at least seven more. East Arondacoit isn't alone. Other districts are hiring drivers, too. Pittsford, two openings. Greece, ten openings. HFL, four openings. Fairport, three openings. They're looking for bus attendants there, too. Hilton and Churchville Chile are looking for subs. And think of the big picture. We're not even talking about issues in your child's school. We're talking about just getting them there in the first place. Something Callan has to pull out all the stops to do. I generally have a spare pool for when somebody calls in sick. Those spare drivers are already regularly driving bus routes. If I have no spares, then I have my mechanics driving, I have my dispatchers driving, and I've even driven. And Callan said she is the last resort. She's the last one out the door if she needs to be in the morning or afternoon. Drivers in East Arondacoit start at $16 an hour. And if you look at this story on WHEC.com, you'll find information on how to get one of those positions. In the newsroom, Chris Horvath, it's News 10 NBC.